Hello, grade 8 math. This is 3.7, dividing mixed numbers. So now, uh, in an example, instead of taking what we've done before, where it's just a fraction divided by a fraction, now we're dealing with what happens if it's a mixed number. So there's a whole number out front uh, that is included as well as here. Well, the simplest way for me to do it is to switch these to improper fractions and then just use either method 1 or method 2 that we learned last time. So either the common denominator or the multiplying by the reciprocal. So how do we find our uh, improper fraction? We take the denominator multiplied by the number out front. So 8 times 1 is 8. And then add the top, and that's what goes as your numerator. So 8 times 1 is 8, plus 7 is 15. And then all over 8 still. So we just keep that denominator divided by... 4 times 1 plus 1 is 5, all over, keep that denominator. Now to decide which method are we going to use, well, I know that I can multiply 4 and make it an 8 pretty easily, right, by multiplying by 2. So I'm going to do the common denominator method. So 15 over 8 stays the same, and 5 times 2 is 10, 4 times 2 is 8. Now that we have common denominators, we can just divide the top. So this becomes 15 divided by 10. Okay, and 15 divided by 10 is one, uh, 15 over 10, which is the same thing as 3 over 2, which happens to equal 1 and 1 half. And if we were to estimate, this is approximately you know, 2, it's a little less than 2. This is approximately 1, uh, but it's more than 1. So we have not quite 2 divided by more than 1. We'd expect it to be in between 2 divided by 1 and two, uh, 1 divided by 1, which 1 and a half is right in the middle of that. So this works. What if we were to do it the other way, using the other method? So let's bring this up here. We're going to work parallel, do the same exact example except we're going to use the other method. So 1 times 8, 15 over 8 is still what it is. We're going to divide by 5 over 4 still. But what if we wanted to multiply by the reciprocal? So we keep our first fraction the same, and we change the division to multiply, and then we flip this upside down, 4 over 5, to make the reciprocal fraction. So then we take 15 times 4, all over 8 times 5. Now, what do we know about this? We've got some factors in here, right? This could be 3 times 5. 3 times 5 is 15 times 4. 2 times 4 is 8 times 5. 2 times 4 times 5. And then we can cancel out some of these factors in here, right? We can get rid of our 4s. We can get rid of our 5s, 1 from the bottom, 1 from the top. And we're left with 3 over 2, which is exactly what we had before, equals 1 and 1 half. We get the same answer. Why? Because if this is equal to that, then the same thing has to be equal to what it is. So if we're following the rules that are set out, we can get to the same answer doing it two different ways, either doing the common denominator or multiplying by the reciprocal. Both work. Let's do a little example here. 2 and 2 thirds divided by 1 and 1 third. Well, 2 and 2 thirds, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 is 8 thirds. Divided by 1 times 3 is 3, plus 1 is 4 thirds. We already have common denominators, so we can just go 8 divided by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Now notice something. If we look at this fraction compared to this fraction, notice that this is two times as big as this fraction. If we have two circles and two thirds of a circle, that is twice as big as one circle and one third of that circle, right? This is twice as big, and so notice that the answer here 
is 2. Why? Because this is twice as big as this. If the first, your uh, dividend is twice as big as your divisor, it will be 2. If it was 3 times bigger, it would be 3, and so forth. Let's do a word problem example here. It says, Brittany has a job in a bakery. One day she used 3 and 3 quarter cups of chocolate chips to make muffins. One dozen, also known as 12, muffins requires 3 quarter cups. Uh, sorry, 3 quarter cup. How many chocolate chip muffins does she make? Or did she make that day? So, we know that she used this much, so she used three and three quarters of a cup. She knows that for every dozen that's made, she's going to require three quarter cups, right? I'm just gonna write a little thing here on the side. Remember that if she has three quarter cups, takes in one dozen, right? it would be three quarters cups. If she has two dozen, it's going to be two times of it, it, right? Two times three quarters, which would be six quarters, which would be one and a half cups, and so forth. Over and over, we'd be multiplying, multiplying by however many dozen it is. And if you remember, we can take anything that's being multiplied on one side to get our dozen, what we're trying to figure out on its own, we can divide it by on the other side as well, right? We're going to divide it by 3 quarters. So what are we left with? Let me move this down a bit. D equals 3 and 3 quarters divided by 3 quarters. That's where we get this over here, which this will give us our dozen. Right? Because the number of dozens times the number of chocolate chips, that's going to be how many you use in total. And if you have something multiplied on one side, you can actually divide by it on both sides and it moves it to the other side, uh, just on the bottom of a fraction here, which also is known as division. I just thought I'd show why this is how we would solve this problem. Now, we have a mixed fraction, so let's switch it to a improper fraction or an improper fraction. Four times three is 12 plus three is 15 quarters divided by 3 quarters. Looky there, we already have a common denominator, so no worry about reciprocals or multiplying. We're just going to take this and go 15 divided by 3, and 15 divided by 3 is 5. Therefore, how many dozens, uh, how many dozen mu uh, muffins did she make? Uh, Brittany made five dozen chocolate chip muffins. Also known as how many? Well, five times 12, if you need to know exactly how many, five times 12 is 60. So she made 60 muffins. So the question said, how many dozen muffins did she make? You'd say five, but because it asked how many muffins, you need to take that dozen and multiply, which dozen, remember, means 12. So 12 times five is 60 muffins.